I'd first like to start out by saying thank you for using the Simply Color Lab video tutorial system. My name is Emily Sullivan and this video tutorial is designed to show you how to order a mirrored stretched canvas if you have prepared the file yourself in Photoshop prior to uploading it into the Rose system. So the first thing that we're going to do is to make sure that we're on the proper product catalog and we're going to scroll down for this order to the canvas's product catalog, wait for it to upload, and by moving all the way to the top of step number one, you'll see that there are two toggle bars. The first one is all of the products contained in the canvas's catalog and the bottom one are all of the sizing categories available for each product. So what we're going to be doing is ordering a mirrored stretch canvas with a file that's already been prepared with that mirrored stretch. So in order to do that we would like to order a natural gallery wrap. Although this may not sound like the right thing to do, the natural gallery wrap templates are set up so that when the image is dragged and dropped into the template in step number three, it allows the image to go to full bleed to the edge of the templates. While the border slash digital stretch templates um, are designed so that when you drag and drop your image into them, the image simply sits inside of the face of the canvas, uh, assuming that the printing department will be adding that digital stretch later. So once again, since you've already prepared your file, we are going to be ordering it as if it's a natural gallery wrap. So I am going to stay on natural gallery wraps, and the file that I have prepared is a 16 by 20, prepared with an additional 2 inches on each dimension to accommodate the stretcher bar. So I'm just going to scroll down until I find the 16 by 20 template, click on it and let it upload. You'll notice that there is a price listed there for your reference. Once that template has appeared in step number three, I can move into step number two. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of the screen where it says Get Images. My images are on a folder on my desktop titled SCL Test Prints. So I'm just going to click and choose that, and the images will automatically upload into step number two. Scrolling all the way down to bottom, I can see the image that I have prepared with that mirrored stretch, and hopefully you can see that there is a mirrored stretch there on all four dimensions. So I'm now going to just drag and drop that image into the template. And when it reappears, you can see that that mirrored stretch sits perfectly inside of that wrapped area while the front face of the canvas will remain untouched. At this point, I'm going to move into step number four. Like I said earlier, this file has been prepared to accommodate the one and a half inch stretcher bar depth, so I'm going to make sure to click on that. As well, I'd like the printing department to tweak the color if they feel that it's necessary. I'd like an open back with wire hanger. And this file doesn't need to be prepared as a split panel or with a digital painted service, so I'm going to leave those blank. Once all of this is complete, I'm going to come to the center portion of my screen, click Add to Order. You'll notice that a blue outline now um, accommodates your image in step number two. This simply denotes that this image is available for you now in the checkout. I am going to proceed to the checkout at this point. You do have a thumbnail available for you to just look over, as well as all the dimensions and specificities of your image, all of the options that you chose in step number four, as well as your quantity and total price. In the center, if you have any discount codes, you can enter them. There as well as if you would like your order rushed or drop shipped. In the center portion of the screen, there's a button called Instructions. If you have any additional instructions for the printing department or for customer service, you can go ahead and type them in, and by clicking Add, you will be adding them to your work order as it is received at Simply Color Lab. Finally, by clicking Complete Order, you'll be asked for your billing and shipping information. We do ask that you scroll all the way down to the bottom, and once you're finished filling all of that out, you can click Next, which will start sending your order over our server here at Simply Color Lab. We do ask that you don't close out of your Rose system until you've received the confirmation box saying thank you. As well, within one business day, you should receive a confirmation email that includes your invoice information. So if for some reason you don't receive either of those, we do ask that you contact customer service at your earliest convenience and they will help you to sort out what may have gone wrong with your order. At this time I'm going to click cancel, although you would click next in order to complete your order. And take just another moment to say thank you for using the Simply Color Lab video tutorial system. Again, my name is Emily Sullivan and this video tutorial has been designed to show you how to order a mirrored stretched canvas if you have prepared the file yourself in Photoshop prior to uploading it into Rose.